I'm with three likes. Call me Buffy, cause that's what I slay like. These bitches, I send them like it's daylight. These niggas wanna know what it tastes like. What it tastes like. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So by the title, you guys know what I'm doing today. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to become a YouTuber in 2023. Basically, y'all, y'all know I'm a small YouTuber and everything. So I want to give my tricks and tips, how I got to where I am and everything. So before we get started with this YouTube video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what you need to record with. So I started my YouTube channel about a year ago and of course I wasn't recording on a nice camera and everything because I didn't, I didn't really know if I really wanted to do YouTube. I started on my iPhone 11. So there's nothing wrong with doing vlogs, any videos on your phone because the back camera is actually really good quality. If you got the two camera y'all it looks really good. If you just got like one camera or anything that could be good too. Like. And just make sure the quality is actually nice make sure you actually wipe wipe your camera off before you actually start recording and everything because sometimes it could look a little dirty but yeah i started recording on my iphone 11 and nothing was wrong with it everything was fine but throughout time if you really want to do youtube yeah obviously would um upgrade to your camera so i was recording on my iphone 11 for a little bit y'all then i upgraded to uh another camera i upgraded to this camera next once i felt like i really wanted to do youtube and i was really passionate about it this is the canon sx x740 hs um it was a really good camera for a while y'all i really recommend it if you want this to be your first um vlogging camera your recording camera anything you want it to be camera quality was okay for me sometimes it was like it would be yellow and stuff so that's why i upgraded to the camera i'm recording on now which is the canon g7x mark ii so yeah guys but guys, it actually took time for me like to get my money up, to get this camera, this camera, y'all. But I'm saying take it slow because now that I'm realizing there's nothing wrong with recording on a phone. But if you want to get that upper quality, yes, um, upgrade to a camera and everything. But yeah. So now that we're talking about what you want to record on and stuff, now is starting your YouTube channel. So try to come up with a nice name. I usually just go for like your regular name, but if you're like, it depends what type of channel you're trying to build, like a gaming channel, vlogging channel, like you guys know what I'm saying. Like me, my channel is pretty much vlogs. It's like a mixture of everything. So I just decided to put my no more name Ashley Zidor but other people go for like different names not their real names or anything but try to come up with a, with a unique name that nobody really has and yeah because if somebody already got your name like I don't know <laughs> that's kind of awkward that's awkward in your predicament but yeah just try to come up with a um, nice name now that we got it covered what you want to record on your channel name and everything now it's time to figure out what content you want to put out so basically um a lot of people go for different content so basically you got to find what you want to do so like y'all confused like oh what should my first video be like do what you want to do like what you want to post on your youtube channel like q a's vlogs gaming like that category like a lot of people got different categories on what they're posting on youtube so try to find your category and what you want to do and stuff so y'all get what i'm saying like try to figure out what y'all want to post and stuff also y'all be yourself and be confident don't be putting on a fake front or anything for youtube for use be yourself don't try to be doing too much be yourself be your unique self and you'll get out there next we're going to talk about thumbnails y'all always oh yeah since y'all like new to youtube and stuff thumbnails are basically what you what you see before you click on a video so what I'm saying is y'all always make your thumbnails clickable like please make your videos like like oh my god y'all I don't know if it's just me but before I click on my video I have to see how the thumbnail look I'm just not gonna click on no other video <laughs> no random video like the thumbnail attracts people like I try to keep my thumbnails nice clickable try to make it like really artsy and cute so try to do the same way so people actually click on your YouTube videos because thumbnails is what draw people. So try to make your thumbnails really nice, clickable, and like, like you know, like matching your video. Like, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, the thumbnail represents your video. So try making it really clickable, really nice, just really unique, and you'll get views and new subscribers just like that. The next thing we're talking about is promoting your YouTube channel. So basically, you can promote your YouTube channel on any social media. Instagram, TikTok, even YouTube. 
So for YouTube, we do have a community tab. You can post your YouTube stuff. The community tab have its own, um, it has its own like base and you could get far from the community tab. Next on Instagram, post it on your story, your post. Anyway, like go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do not be afraid to um, promote your, your um, YouTube channel because at the end of the day, you're doing this for you. You love doing YouTube and etc so yeah even on tiktok a lot of people will follow you on tiktok subscribe to you on tiktok like y'all y'all could gain a lot of subscribers by just promoting it and people will actually watch it like you and you're gaining an audience that's how i did it y'all try to promote it on um all my social medias every single time i post a youtube video just try to get it out there. next we're going to talk about editing so y'all i use cap cut to edit so if you want to edit try making it like I know like a lot of people do like raw and uncut footage, but like sometimes I do not like watching long videos. So try to like keep your video short and sweet. The longest video I would do is probably like a 25 minute video, but I don't even try going on for that long because I know a lot of people don't like watching long videos. So I try to keep it short and sweet, but like try to get it, try to get it like, you know, long enough so I could get my watch hours and everything. By the way, guys, I am not monetized on YouTube yet. I'm trying to get monetized. Um, please watch this video. It don't matter if you're leaving it on your TV and streaming it. I'm just trying to get my watch hours up, y'all. I am so close. So, yeah, keep watching. I edit in. Try to keep the um, video short. Try to add, like, cute little knickknacks in your videos if that's what you want to do. But people actually like seeing, like, little knickknacks in the videos. And it's really cute and really simple. Now we're going to talk about getting monetized on YouTube. So, I just said I'm not monetized on YouTube, y'all. So, watch this video and watch all my other videos. <laughs> I'm not monetized. It's probably because I wasn't as consistent. But, y'all, I'm consistent now. I am back posting. Like, y'all, I'm really on my grind. So, what I'm saying is, like, be consistent and get your watch hours up, y'all. Try doing videos that you think people would, like, that would get people attention. Guys, get what I'm saying, I mean. Um, like, do what you want to do, yes. But, like, I feel like it's the thumbnail that attracts it all. It's a thumbnail that attracts it all. It's like, that's what's going to grab people and bring people, oh, I want to watch this YouTube video, you know? And to get monetized, you're going to have to have 3,000 watch hours. Oh, YouTube just put new regulations up. So, y'all, they put new regulations up. So, it, it's going to be kind of easy, kind of. It's not 1,000 subscribers no more. It's 500 subscribers, 3,000 watch hours. I have around 5,000 subscribers, so I'm good on the subscribers. Now I'm just building up my watch hours. You have to have 3,000 watch hours. Watch hours are how many people watch your video. So basically, if you get like, if you post a YouTube video and get like 100 views, you could get like 3.6 watch hours, and that's three hours and six minutes. So you have to have 3,000 of them hours. So that's what I'm saying. Try to post videos that people actually like and want to watch. You don't know if they're going to like that video. So just post what you want to post. But be unique with it if you get what I'm saying. Oh yeah y'all. Once y'all start your YouTube channel and everything. Make sure y'all verify your account so y'all don't get hacked. Make sure y'all have all your password. That security good so y'all don't get hacked. Like make sure everything is down. Your Gmail. Your password. Make sure it's secret. Make sure everybody. Make sure everything is good so nobody steal your information and everything. Just make sure everything is locked in. Also, y'all, I think I forgot to talk about a banner. Make sure your banner is clickable. I usually go for, like, a normal banner. Like, just my name, Ashley Zidor. And you can make your banner on Canva. It's super easy to make banners on Canva. And that's pretty it, y'all. Okay, so that's, like, the biggest steps, y'all. Try to be consistent, y'all. I try to post every of two not two weeks every like three days on youtube like that's the maximum i would do y'all so every like two every like two days and every two days in a week one day in a week like try to stay more consistent so people actually watch you try to like get out there y'all just by posting so i can't really talk about too much of the monetize on youtube because i'm not monetized yet so i could talk about the gist of it and i told you that and everything y'all so try to stay consistent on youtube especially if you're going up try to stay up y'all like i was going up for a little bit and i ghosted youtube for about like four months but obviously now i'm back and i'm posting so if you ghost y'all if y'all go to your youtube channel it's going to be hard to gain all your subscribers back and all your views back y'all like i'm kind of struggling right now so i'm just trying to do like content that i think you guys will actually search up actually watch actually like you know 
like y'all will watch but anyways y'all like those are pretty much of the tips i can give y'all it's super easy to start a youtube channel in 2023 especially if you're under 18 i'm about to turn 18 so if you're under 18 you don't gotta pay any taxes yet so it's not like i have any taxes to pay yet but like when i get um monetized on youtube obviously i'm gonna have to start paying taxes on youtube and everything but i don't really know about i don't really know too much about the taxes area yet y'all i'm not even monetized yet so make sure i watch my videos so i can get my watch hours up Anyways, y'all, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as all the tips. So basically, it's super easy to start a YouTube channel in 2023. It's not a lot. Pick up, pick up a phone. Pick up a phone. If you have a camera, great. Pick up a phone. Start recording. Edit it. Use CapCut. Have a really good thumbnail. Put the thumbnail on the video. Put your title. Post the video. Constantly keep doing it change it up like I know a lot of people have change in their video and that's good change is really good try to have different areas different editing and everything y'all like I really hope this video really helped you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and bye guys see you in the next